All right, welcome to episode 75 of Adventures in Inbetweening, three quarters of the way there. Today I am looking at an episode from Batman the Animated Series, Feet of Clay, the second part in the two-parter, featuring the inimitable Clayface. Wonderful stuff. I think one of the reasons Clayface is uh, one of my favorite Batman villains is he can become anything, and uh, that in turn lends itself to the animator being able to do almost anything with the shapes that he's capable of. Uh, here you can see Clayface jumping off the roof. He has no fear of heights because he can just land on the ground, become a lump of clay, and reform into his human body. Now, as he's barely moving here at the top, as he's far away from us, the actual space that he's moving isn't very far, so it could be on threes and even fours if necessary. Uh, now that he gets closer to the camera, he's going to be moving on twos every second frame, and as he gets really big suddenly here, coming towards the camera, he's going to be animating on ones. If you were animating on twos and threes here, it would just look poppy and there wouldn't be enough information for us, but as he gets bigger and bigger and bigger to screen, we want those extra frames. Uh, here's the perspective speed lines matching up to the background, and gone. And Clayface is past the screen. And that leaves us a nice clear screen for Batman to pop his head out here as he looks down and says, wow, who is this guy? He's, uh, he's never met anyone like Clayface. Clayface, uh, as he's landed, he's in a puddle right now. He can't be hurt. He can turn into anything he wants. So he's going to gravitate towards the middle. He's going to reform himself into his human body here. But he's not just going to do it in a linear way. Boom, he's going to explode up there. There's going to be little bits of clay shooting out all over the place. You can see the tones drawn on here, giving it three-dimensionality. That's really important, otherwise this clay would, would not feel nearly as, uh, as solid and lumpy. Now he's uh, creating a wave motion there, and then he's reversing the wave. This is all just a, an interesting way of getting that body up out of the clay. We don't want something that's just kind of like, oh yeah, look, here I am. It's, it's got to be more creative. And again, like I said, this is giving the animator some license to come up with some wonderful creative ideas here. And Clayface came up to the camera, kind of facing away from us, turns towards the camera. We get to see who he is. He's a evil, creepy, strange, clay-ridden face here. And as we give the audience that little beat to see his face, then he's going to turn away from us. He's going to hear the police sirens coming up. He's going to go back down into a blob. He knows that they won't know what to look for. If they just see a blob of mud, they won't think, well, <laughs> they'll probably think something, but they won't think much of it. They won't think, look, there goes the supervillain. Uh, cop cores are going in the opposite direction here. If I could spell opposite. They don't see Clayface. And you can see that the pieces are breaking off here. This is foreshadowing his powers as well. Because uh, as the pieces break off, we might think, oh, they're staying behind. But no, they get to keep moving, moving, moving. So Clayface even controls the clay that he's not in contact with, which is uh, very useful to him as a villain. Now he's going to be continuing moving left to right here uh, to have continuity with the previous shot. He's going to go into the storm drain. Again, it's, it's almost like these big arms and figures, fingers uh, reaching out with this lumpy clay and these wonderful tones. He can conform to any space. You can see the face coming in there. This is so great. We've got the face, you know, leading with the chin, kind of looking forward. And then as he starts to go down the drain, his head can turn 180 degrees. He can face backwards. The body's going to continue flowing past him. Just, again, so creative. Filling, filling the entire screen here from left to right. Just, there's, there's, it's, it's clay face everywhere. And you can see that as his, his head's going down, his head's starting to tilt back. Oh, we get some perspective change there, keep it interesting. Love these lumpy shapes on his uh, chin there and the rest of his body. Here come the last parts of his body. Creepy stuff as he goes down into the drain. There goes the face. And boom, he's gone. Just like that. Not even a little speck left behind. This is where he's uh, announcing his name, just in case we didn't know. He's, I'm Clayface. Turns his hands into some big, 
<laughs> hammers. He can farm anything. Again, this is it's only limited by his imagination. And this guy was an actor, so he, you know, he was a he was a thespian. He had a lot of uh, different ideas that he would bring to the stage and bring to the camera. And uh, so he's he, he has that creativity to be able to come up with almost anything. So it's a it's a good match for the character and the uh, powers that he's got. Now he's up in this uh, air grate here. Is this uh, too small for him? He's gonna force his way through. And as it gets, it gets more interesting, more exciting, and then it kind of pulls back, you know, it flattens out. This is the anticipation prior to the big boom. All kinds of interesting shapes here. It's not coming through the grates uh, the same on every one. Everyone's a little bit different. Now here we go into this uh, really simple four-drawing cycle, but it gives us this sense of really fast speed. Watch what I'm going to do here. I'll just uh, rewind it and play it over and over. You can see we're going uh, from 11 to 15, 11 to 15. Yeah, just a four frame cycle. We're seeing that six times a second, but it's effective. And uh, it, there's enough information there that it doesn't get boring for us to see that for a few seconds. Here, Batman's forcing him back, forcing him back. He's got uh, the hand in Clayface's chest now. Clayface is being pushed against the door, bending the door. Batman's using all his might trying to fight this guy off. Even more, even more. And pop, all in one frame. Boom, Clayface's arms come off. You know, again, he's he's he can he can separate himself into different pieces here. He's still a little bit surprised, as anybody would be, for their arms to come off. But uh, it, it sets up this really nice. We've got one direction here, one direction here, another direction going down the middle. Uh, as Clayface is gonna rise into screen here, Matt Hagen is the actor's name. He still has a hand free, even though he doesn't have any arms. And what's that hand going to do? Well, he's going to go back. We get this really terrific, powerful upshot. He's going to draw that claw on his chest back into his body. Uh, so creepy and scary and effective. And then he's going to woof. First, he's going to straighten out with that line of action reversal. And then the clay is going to shoot out and continue to shoot out right to left as we go to the next shot. And here's Batman. He's looking up. He's like, what the heck? He's, he's trying to, he's got a plan on the computer that's going to defeat uh, Matt Hagen uh, psychologically since he can't beat him physically. But here comes the clay. Boom. Hits Batman all in one frame, going flying in every direction. We've got the cape and the hand overlapping there. Really nice shapes. Ah, just, just wonderful stuff. It's, it's this, this really thick, almost like, a, you know, liquid cement or something. And, uh, but, but, you know, it has that uh, organic feel to it and just keeps flowing and flowing and flowing. He, Clayface, just basically, it's all, almost like he's got unlimited clay to just keep sending it Batman here. It just keeps growing and piling on and getting layer upon layer upon layer. Batman's helpless trying to get away here. Now, as it's getting up to his chin, Batman's going to tilt his head back, just trying to breathe. He's got to get to that computer. That's the only way that he can... He can uh, get Matt Hagen to remember who he used to be and uh, hopefully uh, get, his <laughs> get his evil ways put aside. Uh, yeah, you'll have to see the rest of the episode to see exactly how Batman does that, but uh, just so much creativity. I, I mean, Clayface is, like I say, uh, it, it, there's just a wonderful opportunity here animation-wise to study it as well as uh, for the animators who worked on it. And that's that. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time. Take care.